What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and my stupid butt went out and bought this dang on thing. Because I love Armada. So what did I buy? I bought the Armada Universe Power Link Hot Shot with Armada Universe Jolt. And I'm going to say right now I paid too much. I got it from Hasbro Pulse. It's actually cheaper than going other places. It's not available at every place, but definitely you will get this from Pulse. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, but there's a few things I like about the figure and there's a few things I don't like. But we're going to talk about that as we go through. So what do we get this time? Well, compared to the original, which they said they could not make the damn Minicon. Now somehow we got the Minicon. Now, in order to get this damn piece, which they want to probably charge like 10 bucks for, they gave us these two extra guns, and then they gave us the Lushing effects, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, because they think we love this shit. I don't, but that's okay. It's neither here nor there. But any hoo-hoo, we're going to transform him and do all the good stuff. But yeah, he does come with these splooshing effects. I mean, they're okay. I ain't going to sit here in front. I like him, man. I ain't going to front. I like him, man. I like him. So yeah, we're going to put him back together. I ain't going to talk bad about him. I like him, all right? All right, Hasbro? So don't take this video from me. But we are going to talk about the price in the end and what I think about it. So what I think about this figure so far, he's good, but they could have painted the damn rims like it was on the back of the damn box. Especially if you're going to charge us this exorbitant price for just two extra guns a mini con and some blushing effects to try to make this $50 to justify the cost of this, which should have came with this. But here is the box and you get to see the more angry hot rod look of him. Because that's basically what they were going for. Like in the, in the original Hot Shot was more of a bumblebee and then they turned around and made him more rougher and now he's more of a, uh, you know, meaner looking guy. So he's, this paint scheme is exactly, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you that. I got four cars here, got to be showing up for it. So yeah, that's how he looks. Um, from the side, this is the, you know, this is, what is this? Evolution. So, of course, we're going to get that on the side. It's more of the, this guy's, and then this guy's. But I could swear up here, at this top here, somebody going to tell me is that thrust, uh, Armada thrust. And why was he never made or is he going to be made? I just don't know. But we should have got many cons. Commander Class Optimus Prime should have got spark plug, man. I am very disappointed with that. And it should have. And it's not like it's a, a million dollar piece for you to make it. So we're gonna look at the back of the box and say, well, I'm mad. See them damn painted rims right there? For $50 damn toy, you ain't paint the rims, but you're gonna show me that you did. So the prototype has painted rims. Cheap ass motherfuckers. All right, but he does have a nice paint scheme though. I did have to paint that silver because it just looked weird. I'm a joke say, he's at steps, transform 21 steps, and then the boosting effects are probably one step. <laughs> joke, JK. All right, so I'm going to put the car back in frame and I'm going to guys. The only difference is the paint scheme and we'll look at the head sculpt when we get his transform. Um, he has silver and black, but he has all black. Um, these are painted gold while these are painted, you know, silver. Um, he's got the flame motif like hot rod. Um, you know, from the back, he's black and red while well, he's grayish red in the white here. And of course, I did paint these red because they're supposed to be. Um, yeah, but they look good. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here before we start looking at Jolt and all the other stuff. So, I have one of my Bumblebees on there because I have the other, I have the Netflix one, Walmart one, but this is the one from the Target 2 pack because I like the colors and they would more match. And this is what they were going for in the beginning. This is Bumblebee. This was Bumblebee and your Armada line. And then, of course, later on, when he became Hot Rod, they were going for this. So you get this, you know, motif. If you guess it, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not quite because this is kind of a G G one E pattern toy pattern compared to what we have on the current uh, Studio Series version. But you can see there what they were going for. So this is this is like I said, Bumblebee. This is Hot Rod. And yeah, we're going to take a peek at that so you can see what I mean. Yeah, and they do look nice. I, mean, I do like that. Um, you know, showing off the vehicle modes and everything like that. And showing you what they were doing. Um, they do look good and everything like that. So yeah, definitely a go. All right, we're going to pause for the cause and we're going to show off Jolt. And of course, we'll be back in 2 and 2 and then we'll get him transformed into robot mode. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we now have the Power Links version of Jolt in the helicopter mold. 
mode and we're gonna go quickly because this battery is just annoying i've done two reviews and the helicopter propeller does spin um he is primarily an orange color with the gray here not hollow at all there is a five millimeter port because you're supposed because you, it doesn't do you know what it, the original does but you hold him in his hand and we'll get to that we'll get to that but that's what he basically looks like um transform him it's very simple just fold this out like this take the arms fold it back and voila you got jolt in his robot mode and i'm only doing a transformation with him because like i said it's, it's very simple um and basically that's how he looks and there's the face sculpt right there i mean if they could do this they could have done this for the other figures i i, I just don't get hasbro sometimes man i really don't and then he's got these uh feet here that so he could stand up correctly because if you don't pull these down he don't he don't stand up so and i'm only had him standing up a couple of times as mostly he's been connected to uh the power links hot shot so there he is right there an arm does do a 360 um the head does not turn he does not have a waist full but he does have articulated legs that go out to here it's kind of small my hands are in the way he can do that um yeah to make sure that's tight and can he john claude van damme yeah he can oh man he can john claude van damme and did some I'm like wow hold on, hold on let me get it you move the propeller he's like wow <laughs> all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get him to where he's gonna be connected to uh the power links hot shot for the rest of the video so he mostly will be in vehicle mode and as forever in a day we will be back he can, ah man stop phone jesus christ hold on we're gonna get you posed up because we gotta take a picture of you we'll be back in two and two two and two all right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we're going to show off him in his robot mode, the Power Links Hot Shot. And of course, the first things first, we want to show off that lovely head sculpt. And now he's angry. Ah, angry. I'm mean because I turn red. Yeah, and I'm red and yellow, not yellow and red. The difference is green. Ah, and the articulation is the same as the original. If you ever want to see that, as in my review. Um, you know, the arm, of course, is not because of the back and then it's this and the leg does do this and because you got to move this out the way. I know you're like, why are you talking like that? Because I'm trying to show you. Yeah, see, I think that, yeah. Um, it's a few things that I like and I don't like. You know, you got to be careful. Um, there's a little bit of looseness in some areas. Mine, not as much, but I've heard horror stories. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and the leg goes that and then the leg goes back to here. And like I said, this the little knee on mine keeps doing that. And can he Van Dam? Yes, he can Van Dam. But of course, he has why my shoulders hurt syndrome because his shoulders do hurt. It's just the way it is. And then when you lift it up, you know, he's got the black visor. And of course, the gun is black. Now, what is the special feature that he has now? Of course, like the original, he has the little, this thing that lifts up. And of course, it turns into the gun. And, you know, I guess you could turn it this way or this way. But you got to turn it this way. And what you're going to do is put a blushing effect in there. And he's like, pew, pew. You know what I'm saying? And of course, he can't do that without Jolt being a gun arm. So yeah, you know, he's gotta do that. And hold on. There he goes. Alright, so now this is the evolution. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, you can aim the cannon up a little bit if you want. You know, he's like with the blue shing power. Power blue shing but he can't see anything so you have to use like the smaller effect if you really want to see it because if you don't he won't see it yeah it looks like he's shooting off and choo 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 so let's get a little picture of that there so yeah he does look nice it looks yeah he looks nice and uh yeah um i like him i really do i i like him but he's got some issues now the guns he gets i like these guns but they are annoying and i show that off so he gets this you know this gun and i'm gonna take jolt out his hand and then he gets this gun and i like this one better because it's got like a little handle look so yeah he's got some weapons he's got some weapons but i do want to show you this weird weapon storage and i'm gonna pause because it's hard to do um you know to get it but i just want to lift that up because that visor is even loose in the original 
But yeah, you gotta admit though, he does look nice. So of course we're gonna be back in two and two to show that off and let the camera charge up for a little bit. And now we're back by YouTube Magic. Gun storage on this thing is a annoying piece of just garbage. Why? It wasn't designed to do it. They didn't make the peg. It's complicated. So first things first, you, I'm going to show you how this works. And this is a waste of my time. So you see back here, right where my finger is, the slots here. I don't know if they're on the original. Let's see. Yeah, they're on the original. So what they did was you're supposed to be able to peg these guns on here. And the way that you would do it, what people aren't explaining is you have to kind of put it in an angle and it's not designed to do that and of course when you try to do that it just doesn't fit right see and i get tired of trying to fight with this thing to to really do it because i'm like half the time i'm gonna leave these weapons in a box anyway and the only problem having with one but you really do have to kind of angle it to get it to stay and when you try to put the other one in, then the arm, this, the shoulder thing comes up. It's just, ah, it's like it's just stupid fucking Hasbro being cheap. So if you do it right, you have to angle it. It's not going, and then you're supposed to turn this and then it's supposed to just like do that. But when you do that, sometimes it comes, oh my freaking God, it didn't do it this time. Oh my freaking God. Uh. But now the shoulders don't lock, and I'm afraid of that. See, when you try to lock the shoulders, you see how it just comes loose? So it's not, it's, it's really not necessary. Don't even fuck with it. And I have to curse because it's kind of frustrating that he didn't retool it a little bit, you know, especially with the $50 damn price point. But I still like the figure, so I have to accept the fact that I did that. But we're going to kind of just put the guns back in his hand because that's really all you can do. I'm not going to fight this thing for 30 minutes man i'm hungry and want to eat you know what i'm saying and I'm, I'm sure people are tired of watching me try to transform this thing so i might go through and edit out some of this but i do like the guns i like the guns i just like the guns in his hand that's all and i think they look good better this way you know it's, they're nice guns they kind of got me remind me of kind of like how uh uh, uh victory leo looks when he carries the, the rail gun but i do like his look but just make sure you do that. That's all. So then, of course, now we're going to bring in the other robots. And I'm just going to put this here right there because that's how I had them. And I'm going to move the blue sheen effects out the way because we've already seen it a million times. So we see that anymore. Jolt's probably not going to come back either. So we're going to compare him to the original Hotshot. And uh, so we can get an idea. So, yeah, he's gold. This part... I painted on both because I just could stand how land that look. Um, plastic quality tolerances are better on him. Mine is decent, but I heard from other people that it's not on there. So, and that's understandable. The Autobot symbol is a little more, I think it's painted in this one. It looks like it's almost like molded into the plastic. Um, but they do both look good together. And of course, we're going to bring in uh, the other robots here, which would be, you know, what they denote so of course again this is going to be um you know basically hot rod this is basically what he is it's in japan he is known as hot rod and hot rod and to be exact and in japan he is known as hot rod s and as you can see here this is how they look together here's the crew this is bumblebee this is this is he was supposed to be bumblebee and this is supposed to be Hot Rod. And so he's known as Hot Rod. And he's known as Hot Rod S. Or Super. And as you can see, that's what they were going for. Oh, yeah. And of course, we do have more Armada. Of course, always on deck. Because these guys... Well, this one hangs on my shelf. The other one is in my box. But of course, we have none other than Starstream and Optimus Prime coming up on deck so if we get this and i don't now hear me out on this one i tell y'all yeah I'll, I'll save it for the end of the video why we're probably not going to get a whole lot of armada repaints uh you know i'll explain that in a minute because we're just not going to get it i think we might get starscream more than anybody else Optimus probably not so much but then again it just depends on if they do the power links version or if they do the final version now i'm gonna have to pause because the camera battery is dying 
All right, we're back by YouTube Magic. We're going to do another comparison. The last one before we go into review and I explain the, the figure. Um, none other than the uh, Universe uh, Marauder Star Screen, which we do need to get the... Well, okay. In America, they called him Thundercracker, but in Japan, this is Starscream S. Now, America repainted him into the Power... Again, into the Power Links version, which had opposite colors. I prefer... <laughs> And I did delete the video that I filmed of him. I had the Magma Convoy version, which had the final battle colors from episode 50 of Armada or Micron Legend. Um, and I you know, would love to see the repaint of that because you have to do the whole thing. But I think we won't see something like that until we see the rest of the Armada, such as Jetfire and Possible and Over Overload, um, which, again, I don't know if they're going to or they're not going to, but... As of now, I am still happy with the Armada, how they turned out, especially the... Uh, I like Hotshot. I do. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is a comparison. And yeah, we do need the repaints, at least for Starscream. I don't know if they're going to do him or they might, you know, or they might do a Nemesis. Who knows? We may just get a cab of this in the Nemesis, which would be nice. Uh, but still, everything's up in the air. We'll probably see that soon. But we're going to move these out the way and because my camera is like... Hurry up, my brother. And we're gonna put Jolt here. All right. So there's no need to speculate. Let's have the final thoughts. And all right, Jolt, stand up, please. All right. This set suffers from one thing, greed. Why do I say that? And I'm gonna make this short because very simply put, every Armada figure came with a damn mini comp. And I'm sorry, it's not like this thing is made of super tough plastic. It's light. So you mean to tell me, Pasbro, you couldn't throw collectors a bone of your product and give us the Minicon, even though it does not going to do the gimmick. It was part of the figure. And unlike when you could say maybe Energon or it was part, you know, which Energon didn't have anything. It just kind of linked together and he had the little, you know, Energon things. But it's not the same as Cybertron with the keys. We don't really need keys. But damn, the robot was part of the experience. And even if they didn't merge, you could still kind of use them together. So in order to throw him in there and justify the cost, they added the two little plastic guns. Because they're okay. And they even look like guns. And then we got blue effects. So now it's 50 bucks. Wait for this to go on sale. It is not sold out on Hasbro Pulse. It's still sitting there. Wait for this to go on sale. Other than that, if you want to be a dummy like me, you can go ahead and buy it. I like it because I love Armada and I love... Um, Hot shot or hot rod, yes, but it's some things, tolerances that aren't quite right. The guns really don't fit. It's not fun trying to peg them because they weren't meant to do that. So basically, you can just put the guns in his hand and just, or store them on the sides here, and you can put the little gun piece there. But I still like them. The paint job is decent. There isn't really any blemishes. The head sculpt is painted well, and the visor works because the American version, the visor didn't work unless you had the Japanese version. And of course, the light of fist in the Japanese version as well. So yeah, we they, we know that they can make the mini cons. The excuses that they made are very piss poor, Hasbro. You really need to step up the game and just make a pack of mini cons. All right, that's all you got to do. When we're done with the review, I do like the figure overall, but just like I say, just be mindful of the price. Again, it's the Super Robot. I bring you more news and reviews. Until then, we see you soon.